Becky, and I work with Caribbean Insurance. And the reason we're here today is for our third annual Health Expo. And the reason why we do it is to promote healthy living, awareness to the public of the Virgin Islands, the public of the BBI. So we want people to know how to eat, not just how to eat, but how to eat right, what to eat, and why you should eat what you, you eat. We want you to be aware of your health checkup, doing your health checkup, your routine, annual physicals, going to see your doctor, asking the right questions, what are the questions that you should ask, how you should ask them, who you should ask them to, and to be sure that the people that you are asking know what they're talking about. You want to make sure that they're licensed in their fields, they're professional, and they're capable and able to tell you what you want to know and what you need to know as an individual asking about your health. I have to let you know how proud we are of Caribbean Insurance Limited for their second annual health fair and it seems already this morning that we have a bigger crowd than we did last year around this time so that means you're doing something extremely well so I want everyone to give Caribbean Insurance Limited a round of applause at this time. I have registered thus far at three different booths so hopefully if I test three times I know the results will come out the same. So I have three different opinions, but I just want to say to all the persons that have came and traveled from Puerto Rico and throughout the Caribbean and throughout the region to be here, our health from the ministry's point, from standpoint, from the government standpoint, is extremely important and we must continue to do the things that are necessary to ensure that we take care of our health. Because as we continue to live longer, there are more complications, there are more illnesses that are coming, but we have the ability to do what is necessary to prevent those illnesses and ensure that we are checking. So I encourage everyone on behalf of the government and on behalf of Caribbean insurers on this day to come out and get your checks, get yourself registered uh, so that we can continue to be a healthy Virgin Islands. So again, I thank you on behalf of the government, on behalf of the Minister of the Virgin Islands. God bless this event. certified oncologist and hematologist. She treats patients with um, oncological and hematological problems. So we're talking about breast cancer, prostate cancer, I mean all sorts of cancers and also um, blood disorders. I say most of all diet is important to staying healthy. Um, you are what you eat and if you're taking bad stuff then you're not going to get anything good out of it. I would say stay away from the processed food. Try to eat as natural as possible. And also get a lot of exercise. Well, not a lot of exercise, but you know, exercise. Um, get a decent, good amount of sleep and try to get at least eight hours a night. That's, you know, those are the things that will keep you healthy. So eat right, stay active, and sleep.
Woods from St. Lucia. We from we representing two companies today from Dominica and St. Lucia. Um, this is the second time we're participating in this event. Um, Caribbean Insurers does such a good job in hosting us. The public is so responsive to the herbs. Um, so today we're just letting people know about our herbs and the goodness that they have, giving them the right dosages, the treatment, the maintenance. So we're just happy to be here today to just take part in everything that's going on. I'm a physical therapist and what I do is I go to patients homes to treat them. People who've had strokes, if you've had heart surgery, even if you've just been in the hospital and you're deconditioned, you can't move. Anytime anyone has a decrease in mobility, a decrease in function, you can't walk well, you can't sit up well, um, I go to patients homes. Also there are people who can't get time off from work during the week to go to patient uh, to go to therapy. I have gone to patients' homes at like 5.30, 6 in the evening. I go on the weekends. So, you know, just to give people flexibility and options to get better. I think the participation has been good. I think it's just been a steady stream, a steady stream of people. And it's good that the BBI is really focusing on health and healthcare because, you know, we need to be healthy. It will help us now with the next generation and the next generation and the next generation. When we, say, when we say natural products, we're talking about a different modality or a different approach to illnesses. But we deal with has no adverse effects. Uh, and that's the difference. You know, your hair, your hair won't fall out, you know, five years down the road or three months down the road or anything like that. Um, have any adverse side effects from using the protocols that we recommend for different uh, illnesses. Uh, usually we go after the cause, not the symptoms necessarily. Uh, we go after the cause because once you remove the cause of the problem, then the problem vanishes. It fixes, pretty much fixes itself. Well, good morning, I'm Gretchen Hodgepin. I'm the Director of Nursing at Peebles Hospital, BBI HSA. Peebles, as you know, is the only public hospital on this territory taking care of our community, which we are proud to do. We are here, I believe this is our third time here, at CIL, Insurance Company Health Services, um, Cultural and Health Fair. We provide a lot of services at the authority. First of all, we have a number of specialties that we're looking at, our intern program with the medical doctors and our outpatient clinics. Um, today, we're focusing on the audiology department. Ms. Hodge is one of our audiologists. They're examining patients' ears as they sit. Over here, we have our community nurses who are testing your vital signs, your blood pressure, pulse, and temperature, also taking your blood glucose and your cholesterol, as well as your body because we're looking at the chronic illnesses, focusing on diabetes and hypertension. Well, well this is something we attend every year. Uh, this is where people come to try to get answers to problems, sometimes very complex problems, very complex issues. We help them find those answers. So it is my first time. It is my first time at the health fair. And everybody has been very well organized. It's been, the, the organizers have done a fantastic job. Hats off to CIL. I mean, they, they've been fantastic. So to facilitate this and to bring all these people together. For example, I need a, a certain type of um, uh, technician, a prosthetist, which is not available here in the BBI. And I got three recommendations, one from Florida, one from St. Thomas, and one from Puerto Rico, just being in this room. So it's wonderful just as a provider as well to network with other providers to see what we can get. Overall, healthcare is extremely important. Extremely, that's why we are here. The turnout today is really good. People are really responsive. They're taking in all the information the providers are pro providing lots of information for the public of the BBI. We have started, we started earlier this year so that we're able to give people time to get all the information that they need, find out what they need, and the, the 
people have been coming in, the public has been coming in. If you take a look around, you're going to see most of the booths, they're all filled up and people are asking questions. People are being really responsive and the information that is being given out to the public is wonderful, it's awesome. So come on out, get your information. Information is knowledge, information is power. So come on out and get your information. It's really well supported, so come on out, we're waiting to see you.